uh, definitely take notes. Uh, we're going to go through this uh, fairly quickly for you to be sensitive to your time. We're going to cover trends, company, products, uh, compensation, and most importantly, the timing. Uh, we're really excited about this for you guys. Uh, this is really kind of the, the best time in, in this industry that we've seen. Um, I wanted to spot out market trends for you guys. Um, think like an entrepreneur, uh, somebody that uh, um, I, I'm going to kind of share you my personal story. I remember I'm a little older and where I remember the pagers, I remember cell phones uh, coming out. Uh, don't know if those of you in the, the room remember pagers, but it tells you how old I am. You are old. And uh, I, I remember um, just a few years ago in 2012, so trends is definitely not um, a fad. A fad is something like that you would basically have at Christmas and you're gonna have, a, it's the hottest toy for Christmas coming up. Um, a trend is something where really most of the money is flowing. So back in the day, if you remember cell phones, uh, it went from pagers to cell phones. Nobody had cell phones and everybody had one. And then not only that, you, you were actually had the, the boom of the internet. And from the boom of the internet, you've now had the internet on your phone and, and everything's just, just changed and shifted. Um, one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys really quickly to think of is, uh, for me personally, there's an industry called solar. So my personal story is I've been very fortunate to be at the beginning of a trend that exploded. And it's at the time of it occurring, you don't think of it. So in 2012, I was recruited to a company and it, solar was, uh, residential solar was not something that uh, everybody was doing. Has anybody in the room heard of sol residential solar going on your home uh, or people putting solar on their houses? <laughs> so nowadays it's everywhere. But in 2012, we were literally kind of laughed at a little bit. Like, oh man, you wanna be really careful getting into that industry because that's probably not going anywhere. Um, that was true. Um, and then fast forward a few years later, uh, it exploded. Um, the company I was with was the fastest growing in the world. Uh, for residential solar. We crushed it in Hawaii, we crushed it in other companies, and that's my personal story. So as you kind of go down this journey with us tonight, really think of the trends that you've seen in your life, and maybe sometimes that you might have missed, and this is one where we wanted to help you kind of make a smart decision and see the why. So the why for us, uh, trends for the past of, of hemp. Um, hemp was literally one of the first things that, uh, that they can actually have on record with the ancient Egyptians. Um, back in the 1770s, farmers, all of the 13 colonies were required to grow hemp. It was a, a, an amazing crop that could actually produce and help the country grow. And it, we, we've really seen some of the most amazing things when you look back and hearing about it. So in the past, um, for several years, 81 years to be exact, we haven't actually had hemp. And one of the things that we want to focus on today is why does everybody here and, and across the country heard of CBD. Why is it on Amazon? Why is it on uh, Google? How can it's all over the place? Because of what, the opioid epidemic, in my opinion. Say that again? I think the opioid epidemic really sparked people to try to find a new way. It's a great point. Uh, mm -hmm. yep, yeah, great point. And so <laughs> one of the things we're going over today on, on uh, the present of why hemp and CBD is so powerful right now is because in 2018, December to be exact, <coughs> the, the farm bill was passed. And that made it so hemp can now be grown across the country, it's federally legal. Um, another thing that was huge was the World Health Organization in uh, 2017 announced 194 countries. They basically petitioned this World Health Organization to 194 countries to let and allow CBD to not be a class one drug. That is massive. If there's anything out of this slide you wanna take down, it's not just the 2018 hemp, um, uh, the farm bill being passed, but the World Health Organization, imagine 194 <laughs> countries coming and saying, hey guys, remove this CBD, remove CBD from being a class one drug. And the UN is, the, the cool thing on this is the UN is the one who gives all of the money to the WHO, the World Health Organization through UNESCO. And they went to them and said, by 2020, if any of you on this 194 list has CBD illegal, you're not getting money. And it's as simple as that. It's, it's an economic thing to them because they, it's proven that it helps. It's proven, you know, that it's, it's a good substance. And so it's really cool to see it come from, you know, someone as conservative as the UN and the WHO. And they're going and telling, you know, regressive countries. Like you talk, Idaho is a regressive state in the in the acceptance of this. And it would be like the federal government coming to Idaho and saying, hey guys, no more federal funding, remove it. And that's what the WHO did. 
Because it's ridiculous. The UK just classified CBD a medicine. Really? Yep. It's it's Very changing nice. rapidly right now. Uh, the present of mm -hmm. CBD is growing extremely fast. And one of the things that we wanted to kind of let you know that if we want you to, to tonight basically take the time to go back <clears throat> and study these things. Don't take our word for it. Write down the information that we're going over tonight. One of the things that really, when I read this and I learned about it, it really made me mad. And it was called the 2003 patent, US patent. And when you look that up, it talks about cannabinoid, uh, it talks about CBD. And, and really when you go and read through what they actually understood it can, it can do and help um, with and, and the ailments that it actually takes care of, it really is frustrating. Why did it take so long for us in this country to, to really kind of learn that CBD is really beneficial to people. So one of the things we also want you to look up and, and go see, go search Google uh, CBD. Learn about what's going on in, in, in the current trends of CBD. Uh, go on Amazon and type in CBD. You can't actually buy CBD on Amazon right now, but it is, the, it is in the top two search things in Amazon right now. Uh, that's a true fact. Uh, you can find C, uh, hemp oil uh, you can buy products that, that there. Some people are doing it illegally, but it gets kicked off pretty quick. Uh, it's one of the, how is it that it's one of the top two search things on Amazon, but yet you can't buy it on there. It's telling you that this is a trend that's moving very rapidly. It's to grow to over $22 billion by 2022. And just look at the growth that you see here on the slide. Uh, what's it up to now, Trevor, that you think that uh, it's, it's even past $22 billion uh, just in the last two months. So it's, it's skyrocketing up for you. So one of the things that we're looking at is the future trend is going from literally 500 million to 22 billion in by 22. That's the latest by 30 billion. So this is literally just in the last two, two to three months, the numbers are just skyrocketing. So where do you wanna position yourself within a trend? CBD is definitely where we're saying that you need to be. And the 81 year drought means that back in, one thing to kind of cover with everybody, so if you look it up, <coughs> Uh, to save time tonight, go look it up and, and, and look at the 1937 Marijuana Tax Act. Back then, they actually added hemp to that tax act to basically you know, obtain more revenue. Um, it's one of those things that if you study it and research it, it really makes you mad that we haven't had CBD because for the last 81 years, it's been clumped in with marijuana, its cousin. CBD is not marijuana. Uh, you can definitely look that up as well. So why is it, uh, to your point, uh, why is it that CBD is so powerful right now? Well, we talked about cell phones and the internet and uh, those kind of converging. Well, this time is just amazing because you can actually have people that you can study things very rapidly. You can actually, friends and family across the world that know each other can actually spread the word really fast. It's not the doctors, it's not big pharma. Um, they didn't come out and say, hey, you guys gotta check CBD out, stop using our drugs. Um, they definitely didn't say that. It wasn't the doctors, although there is several doctors that now prescribe CBD, and it surely wasn't the government. Uh, we can tell that by the US patent from 2003. Who it really was is the people. And it's not just the news organizations running these stories, it's literally the people in the world sharing their stories about what CBD is doing. Uh, one of my favorite ones, if, uh, that you like to, if you like uh, seeing mad money, uh, his name's Jim Kramer, and he has a very popular show, and he basically did a spot just in the last few months about CVS stores carrying CBD in every store. And he says- That's the guy that just screams about money, right? He just screams about money. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> he's saying CBD is gonna take the country by, this is his quote, the CBD is gonna take the country by storm because it works. He's been studying this for a really long time. Not just him, but Dr. Oz, and Sanjay Gupta, they've literally been uh, able to help do t so many shows and so many new spots on kids with seizures. Seizures is something that kids struggle with. Um, they, there's kids that, there's children that have passed away and died because of seizures. CBD, there's a, <clears throat> there's a CBD product that is absolutely legal by the FDA and they absolutely, it cures those kids' seizures. That is phenomenal. And if you study that and look at that, just that alone, is really amazing. So if you know children or, or family, friends, and, and anybody in your circle of network that has seizures and they don't know about CBD, this is a great opportunity for you to kind of share that knowledge with them. Another one is, is uh, kids with autism and children that, that deal and struggle with that and parents that have to deal with that. It's been showing up to have amazing effects for autism. These aren't medical claims. I do have to be careful what I say. So we want you to go out there and research it. One of the things we want you to do tonight that's huge is 
as we talked about trends, uh, you really want to find the right vehicle. Uh, you want to find that vehicle that's going to help take you along the, 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 the journey to, to really capitalize on, on this. If, if you see something that's really this powerful, how are you going to personally affect people in a positive way, whether for the benefits of CBD and also the financial rewards? So those of you here tonight for two, two reasons, maybe here to take CBD for yourself and to improve your life, um, but you maybe uh, those of you else here that have an entrepreneur type mindset and you want to be able to pay for your CBD, um, this is a great way to do it. We feel that 1A is the vehicle for you in this room and maybe those of your friends and family. So you, in order to have a great vehicle, you gotta have a company with experience. You have to have a company that has the knowledge and supply. Um, not having the supply, you're really gonna have a really bad experience and also not be able to provide for your customers and your family and friends. And so, and we're gonna go, we'll burn through all these slides and then uh, hold your questions for the end and we'll go through every single question you guys have. Um, one of the things is tools that we feel that, uh, a vehicle that you need to have um, to be, a, be successful is you've got to have the tools. You might have the experience, the knowledge, and supply, but if you don't have the tools and ability to make it so you guys can make money or be able to share this opportunity with your, your friends and family to take the product, it's not going to be successful for you. One of the things we wanted to cover with you guys is Y1A. Uh, the, there was a study released in this last year that showed 70% of the CBD out there is mislabeled. That's horrible. That means you have a 30% chance going out in the world right now and finding CBD that works. That's horrible. Um, one of the things that you actually can look up is, is that uh, all of the research on there that they found for CBD, some of it had very harmful chemicals and things in that CBD, which is really bad. And Trevor might touch a little bit on that uh, a little bit later. One of the things we wanted to say to you guys and know that you might not have ever heard of 1A before, so who are they? And one of the things we want to share with you is the founders of 1A, they are one of the largest distributors of CBD hemp in the world. And can you imagine if you're supplying the, the, the CBD in the world and you're putting your product out there and you're growing this, you're a supplier and you hear this statistic, it definitely made them mad. And, and for our benefit, they started a company called 1A. And 1A is the company that's here to basically provide us with the opportunity, with the supply. So why not be partnered up with the best company that can provide you with the most supply if these guys uh, our, a couple of our founders control and operate the largest CBD hemp farm production in the world. With well over 22,000 acres, they're able to help provide us with that supply. That was one of those things in the vehicle that you remember on the other slide. Uh, they have massive extraction facilities in New Mexico, Canada, uh, Montana, Kentucky. Am I missing any of them? Texas. Texas. Uh, so a lot of, <clears throat> lot of awesome ability for, for us to have that product and supply and experience. So if you remember one of those things to write down is the experience, they have the supply. And one of the things is that vertical integration for a company is so awesome. I have Trevor share this with you guys of why 1A and why this is something powerful for us to have something that you can control the quality in the product. Yeah, so there's something that probably doesn't matter to customers. Um, it matters to an influencer, you know, or a, a business opportunity, you know, look at this as like a franchise opportunity, you know, you guys are you're spending time away from your family, you're committing to, to do this to make money, right? And it's just like a franchise. It's important to understand why our franchise opportunity is different than the others, right? Um, every Tuesday here, there's a Zillis meeting, right? Or a Zizhas or however you pronounce the Zillis, right? It's another, it's another me too, right? And it's another company who's, who's realized, oh my gosh, this is a great opportunity. And they're going out and they're getting product out there from the industry and they're bringing it together. 1A is not that. 1A is a vertically integrated top to bottom company. What that means is our product and our supply chain is ours. It's owned, it's owned and operated by our, our owners, right? And uh, there's not very many people that can say that. I haven't seen a multi-level marketing company or a direct sales company that has a vertically integration story. There are some vertically integrated companies. There are some of them that are big online and, and what they're doing is they're spending money on advertising. You know, instead of paying 50% into the comp plan, they're spending 50% on advertising, right? Um, and, and it's still in the beginning phases. So the fact that 1A is vertically integrated for us gives us gives us a lot. First off, the foundation that we have starting, we're never gonna be able to tap into these guys' hemp. I mean, we, we can be international in like 50 countries and not tap into that 22,000 acres. It's so much hemp, 
you guys, that is like ridiculous how much. I went and had the guy calculate how much we have to do to, to use 22,000 acres, and I'm like, I'll talk to you in 2050, you know? Like, <laughs> not that concerned, <clears throat> but the fact that we have that is really, really key showing crew to our story, right? It also knows that we're in this to win this. We're not just an MLM company that's adding CBD to our product line and is gonna like, if, it, if it's easy, we're, you know, we're gonna stay in it. We just made it through the, the toughest trial that's gonna happen until the lawsuits that happen, right? There's gonna be two trials that CBD is gonna go through. The first one was the merchant service thing. The second one is they're gonna come after lawsuits. And it's something that we all need to protect ourselves on from what we publish personally, right? Even on our personal sides and on our corporate sides, is they're gonna look, and the bigger we get as a company, and the bigger you get as an individual, that bigger that target's gonna be, right? Um, and so the neat thing about 1A is we're not gonna shudder when or if FDA comes out and says, oh, blah, 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 with CBD. We are vertically integrated. Our partners are hemp barons. Our partners are in this space. They have four other companies that are hemp or in the hemp industry. We're in this to win this, right? And so it's a big, big, big difference. On top of that, every single one of Juan A's products are proprietary. You cannot go out and get our products at a CSV. You can't go down to the local smoke shop or to a nutrition store and find our energy product. People aren't even formulating these products. Calm, Super AI, and Energy is a combination of a neurotropic, a multivitamin, and a CBD enhancement. I mean, it's, it's incredible, those formulations, and no one will ever have those, ever. Our Fuse tablets that are coming out with, those are 100% ours. No one will have those. People will copy and, and, and try to make their own, but you guys, these are ours, and nobody's gonna be white labeling these, and a lot of our competitors, even the best ones, right? They're going out and they're, it's not like they're bad business people, they're going out and they're trying to find great product. They're trying to find great companies and they're buying it and then they're putting their label on it. Well, that's what Zillis is doing and that's what these other guys are doing is they're finding their best thing, they're putting their label on it and it's another me too. And are there good and can there be great CBD products out there? 100%, you know, like we're not, we're not foolish, but Juan A, having that vertical integration story, it just sets us apart, you guys, and it sets us to be massive. And that's really where we are. We're in this beginning stage right now, but we've got this foundation to be able to be massive. Um, keep going, should I? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so on these products, right, the, the farm to shelf thing is something that we really can't pat ourselves on the back more, right? And I hope you guys talk about farm to shelf a lot because farm to shelf is the customer's understanding of vertical integration, right? Like vertical integration, that's like an industry talk, but farm to shelf, that's the customer talk. And that's the promise that we have to our customer is that every single 1A product that we ever have, we've got control, you guys, from the farm all the way down to the point that it has it on the shelf. And they can take that bottle and they can scan it and they can go and they can find a third party validation, right? And I didn't realize that some people don't recognize this, guys. Our scan that we put on there, when you're doing it and you're scanning it, it's not 1A's labs that are saying, yes, this has CBD in it at 30 milligrams. It's a whole nother company that we've hired, right? It's third party validation. And before we get it to there, uh, 1A's already gone through a, a, me, a middle one and uh, our partners with Eureka or Vitality have already done one. So it's really gone through two other third party validations before it gets there. So. A lot of boring details for the customers, but for us, the surety that, that product is what it is. And like Ryan was saying, with the 70% mislabeling and with the concern even of 10% mislabeling, hemp is a very, very powerful plant. And I talked about this at our last meeting. I know a couple of you guys weren't here, but the first thing hemp does is it extracts heavy metals from soil. And so if somebody, got in just now and they started growing hemp and they've never done it before and they're a great entrepreneur and they're growing hemp where there's previously been alfalfa or corn or who knows what. Hemp will extract heavy metals and toxins in that soil that the, hemp, or that the alfalfa or the corn didn't have the ability to extract. In fact, if you Google um, hemp Fukushima, hemp Chernobyl, you'll see they've been using hemp for 15 years in Chernobyl to eat the radiation out of the ground. It's the only plant that can do it that doesn't kill it. It's just an incredible plant, right? But why that's important for our story, why that's important for farm to shelf, is 
We're, this isn't our first rodeo. We're the largest, our, our, our parent company, our founders are the largest growers in the entire world, and all of our product is traced from farm to shelf. So there's no heavy metals in that. And that would be the first thing I'd be concerned about. I'd be less concerned if it said that I was getting 30 milligrams and I was getting 20 milligrams, then I would be having heavy metals in it because it's just a killer. And it, it's something that it's new to society. You know, you could grow corn in a field that's never been grown on before and you're not gonna get heavy metals but you're gonna get it with CBD. So it's very, very scary, especially when this thing crosses the blood brain barrier. When you're taking it sublingually, right? It's going into your, and it's crossing your blood brain barrier. Um, so very, very important you don't have heavy metals and toxins in it. Okay, so spectrum, as you guys know, that's mother nature's recipe. You know, the way I always um, present it to people is if you are going to get milk to feed your family for nutrition, right? Would you want powdered milk or would you want whole milk right from the cow, right? And, you know, we already know what the answer to that is. Um, spectrum is like whole milk, okay? The only thing that this has been done is just like whole milk, you pasteurize it and you take out some of the impurities, the exact same thing here. The neat stuff that you're going to get with spectrum that you won't get with just CBD is you're going to get the entourage effect and it's an actual thing called the entourage effect and it's because the scientific community don't know why the other stuff help us yet. They, they know why CBD helps us, they know why THC helps us, they can actually link those things to some studies, but they have no clue why the other stuff helps us. And some of the stuff that really is neat that's in this is it has omega-3, 6, 9, 12. It's a perfectly balanced omega fatty chain fa acid, okay? It has essential minerals that come from the ground. Right, so because hemp extracts stuff from the ground, you're gonna get the minerals in that soil in here. And so a lot of times, the big farmers being like, it's not even the CBD that's helping them, it's because they're getting enough essential minerals, it's bullshit. And you're like, well, who cares, you know? That's the entourage effect, right? And uh, the other thing that it has in here is it has terpenes. Terpenes are what's in wine, right? And terpenes really good for the heart. There's a lot of things that they're showing terpenes good for us. So Why the glass of wine it is, is is good for you. There's more terpenes pound for pound, ounce for ounce, for ounce um, in in CBD than there is in wine. It also has flavonoids. It's flavonoids are what's in like uh, pine that gives it that really strong smell. Flavonoids are really good for us. You know, there's a whole entire companies that are just selling flavonoids as a supplement, right? And there's just packed with flavonoids. On top of that. Every single batch that you get, if you scan our products, even our cute little pure, that's supposed to just be pure CBD. If you look in it, there's more than CBD. There's CBN, there's CBG, there's, CB, there's CBC, um, and there could be anywhere from 14 to 30 different cannabinoids in, uh, in here, and there you know, it could be anywhere from like five to 10 in, inside of these. So these extra cannabinoids are helpful, and we'll learn more and more about them. As Juan A matures in a company, you know, we foresee uh, next year and the following years being able to release um, product lines that have no CBD in them whatsoever that are coming from hemp that could be flavonoids, terpenes, and these, and these different things. So it's really, really neat. The plant's absolutely amazing. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Energy. Um, I'm saving $260 a month since this came out because I was the two for five energy thing, right? Think of your husbands or your friends or yourself who you're, you go into the store and you're getting the two for five Monster, two for five Red Bull. I was a two for five Red Bull guy. And um, ever since this has come out, um, I actually had a Diet Red Bull yesterday because our vendor, I went to Sound Concert, <laughs> and they had it. I'm like, yes, because I'm not spending anymore. And I'm, I'm saving. The, the neat thing about the energy, um, and a couple of things, guys, is you're telling your customers and yourself why this works so well. And, and this works, for me at least, this is like one of the most effective products I've ever taken um, for energy. Uh, so CBD balances along with the MSM and the L-theanine, it balances the jitter, right? Because CBD uh, for the central nervous system has a calming effect it takes off that traditional edge that the caffeine gives you that is just a little bit too intense, right? The L-theanine uh, as a cognitive enhancer also controls it and so you don't have jitters. The CBD lasts a little longer. Um, sorry, the caffeine lasts a little longer. If you've taken this, you'll notice that it lasts like six, seven hours, right? Whereas a typical caffeine, you're at three and a half, four hours. 
but it's because you've got these other things um, pairing with it. And we had absolutely no idea it would be as effective as it was. You know how like you're just like, you know, like you knew something's gonna be good because it has all this good stuff in it and you take it and it's just like smack. That's what this is for me. <laughs> calm, cool thing about calm is everybody's looking for that dichotomy, you know? It's like, I don't have enough energy and then I'm just too, I'm too anxious, you know? I just want, it's like that, it's that teeter-totter. This isn't sleep. And it's important to tell your customers as you're, as you're using this, this isn't sleep, this is calm. This is, this is allowing you in stressful situations, social situations, I mean, things like these that maybe you're out of your comfort zone and you need a little bit more balance, um, this is gonna bring you there. It's really, really good for social anxiety. Um, it's good for taking the edge off. Nice. Ooh. Next time we're going behind the back. <laughs> Super AI is our third best seller. Somebody was asking. So this guy creeped up and it passed Calm last month to be our third best seller. So Calm is our fourth best seller. Uh, Energy is our fifth best seller. And Energy and Calm are like just neck and neck. But this guy came out of the blue and it came out of the blue because if you're not currently taking anything for your joints, this thing is like game saver. Most of us have all of our joints, the older you are, you know, your connective tissue and that stuff, it just breaks down. And you can get to the point where you're like cartilage on cartilage, bone on bone. And there's a supplement called Move Free, big, huge pill that they sell at Walgreens and CVS. And it has glucosamine um, uh, monosulfate in it. And we put in glucosamine monosulfate in this and MSM for the same reason. What it is, it's fish cartilage. It's like crustacean fish shell stuff. And when your joints can relax and they have a little bit of space to go in there, um, that glucosamine actually goes inside of your joints and it starts rebuilding your connective tissue. Your body can rebuild connective tissue until you're 80 years old. It'll, and that's why you see people, their ears will start, you know, even growing when they're there. That's when it stops. It's, it transfers it into extremities. But up until that point, we can rebuild all of this, these, these issues that we have, but you need space. It's inflammation that's causing all of these issues, right? So the CBD mixed with the turmeric, the curcumin, all the other stuff is creating just a massive amount of space. So finally your joints can actually join, you know, be like, oh, breathe. And then the, the, the glucosamine goes in there and it's just amazing. One of your people at the last meeting came up. She had the biggest knuckles I've ever seen still to date in my life. It was one of- Don't tell her, but. No, I said it to her. <laughs> she, I mean, she, like maybe early 40s, late 30s. She's one of Feather's friends. And she has rheumatoid arthritis in her knuckles. It was the saddest thing I've ever seen. She uh -huh. said this is the only thing she's ever taken in her life that, that helped her. She was at your house um, at last meeting. I don't know. Anyways, I, that was neat. I don't know Feather very well. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So that was really neat her. to see. I don't know my and very well. that thing right there too, that Super AI, it has my men's health doctor when I turned 40 gave me a list of vitamins that I'm supposed to be taking. Every single one of them is in that. So it's your vitamin D3, it's your vitamin B, um, you know, just a, a basic checklist of stuff you can be doing. So it's really good multivitamin. Then obviously, pet. <clears throat> neat thing about our pet. <coughs> I took off my label on this for my kids. They have no clue it's the pet, because it's the human. The only thing difference between pet and the human is the human has has stevia, so it's slightly stevia Wait, is. so that's not bacon flavor? Oh, it's bacon flavor. No, <laughs> no, it's no. It's bacon flavor. There's no bacon flavor. flavor. No. So there's no flavor There's no flavor in, in this. Try oh, I say I don't, I, I don't ever have smell anything when. There's no flavor yeah, in this. The reason I ask is because Donna asked me, because some of our customers want yeah, no flavor whatsoever. There's no flavor. She's no, like, can they take the pet? And I'm like, I think it's bacon flavor. Open it. It's, yeah, so I took no, the label it's, off it's, of this. It's sitting in my counter. This is 250 milligrams of the human, because it's the same stuff, you know? It's I'm the exact same out, stuff. I told someone if they run out, just take their Yeah, uh, one body. full dropper is 8.33 milligrams for a pet. And so I took off the thing that I give my kids this. Try it, Greg. You're gonna, you're gonna taste awesome. really, really mild. What I notice when I taste it, if you, if you put a little in, well, I was holding it in my pocket all the time. Just for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. You know, the, on the marketing piece of this, you know, it's like, you know, our furry friends are family too. That's why we give them the exact same stuff that we give us. It's not, uh, 
There's no flavor. Then we've, yeah. we've taken no. out the terpenes. We've say, taken out the flavonoids. Like There's no raw smell. Or nothing. Yeah, that's what's neat about this. And it's really, really cool. In fact, the pure, we did the exact same thing. So instead of just coming out with a tincture like everybody else, like our scientists did some really cool stuff. They said, let's pull out all the smell so it doesn't smell like marijuana. So we, you guys cool pulling out the terpenes? Yeah. This is how it's a proprietary formula. This is why this isn't just like everyone else's stuff. I will tell we you. We pulled out all the flavonoids. I will tell you because same volume, half the CBD in it, I can tell it's more oil. It's Maybe. more oily consistent than the pure. You're also missing the, the peppermint bit. and the stevia cut of the saying the volume, yeah. this is half the CBD by fourth. volume, so there's gotta be more of a, a carrier oil in it. Right? So, yeah, pants. surprisingly, so I can tell. It's a you'd little be bit, the blown away how little different. more it is. It's itty, itty, itty. That doesn't take you too much. Even but, straight, it's not. Yeah, pretty neat, right? Our pure is the exact same. We took out the flavonoids, we took out the terpenes. Okay, um, and then obviously, <laughs> this thing right here, <laughs> he's turned into an animal. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You're turned into a pet. <laughs> Good. So we know the scan the shelf thing, you know, pretty basic. Um, again, this goes back into the farm to shelf, it goes into the vertical integration, and uh, I think we've covered that enough. Yeah. Uh, experience. Uh, we talked about the, the vehicle. The 1A, we feel we have the right vehicle. Uh, by doing that, we've got the experience, we've got the supply, and um, we definitely have the product that's going to be helpful. One of the things that you need is that tools part of it that we talked about. So this is one of the things we're going to show a quick video. Um, this is something that every single one of our influencers can show through the app. So on the app, you're gonna notice through some of this thing, this exact video, you can share it to all of your people uh, within just minutes of signing up. 